Hey guys, thanks for checking back in with us today as we continue to focus on this main point that Jesus is truth. You know, yesterday we were in the book of John chapter 18 and we learned that Jesus came to testify to the truth. He came to show the world what truth is. He claimed to be truth. And in learning that, we realize that truth just isn't an idea, but that truth is a person, Jesus. Jesus is truth. Now, this isn't the first time that Jesus has made this claim. In fact, just a few chapters earlier, in chapter 14, we find Jesus talking about this very same thing, making this very same claim, talking with his disciples. So leading up to this point, his disciples are kind of upset with Jesus because as they're going along, he's starting to make people angry based off of his teachings. These teachings that we've been talking about for the last couple of weeks that Jesus is God and Jesus is Savior. See, these are pretty bold and kind of controversial, especially during this time. And the disciples felt like their lives were being put at risk. So Jesus wanted to reassure them and let them know that there was a plan, that there was a purpose, that he knew what he was doing. And so we pick up in John chapter 14. We're going to be reading verses 1 through 6. If you have your Bibles or your phones, why don't you pull that up and read along with me. Again, John chapter 14, verses 1 through 6. And this is what we read. Do not let your heart be troubled, afraid, cowardly, Believe confidently in God and trust in Him. Have faith, hold on to it, rely on it. Keep going, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many dwelling places. If it were not so, I would have told you, because I am going there to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again, and I will take you to myself, so that where I am, you may be also. And to the place where I am going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the only way to God and the real truth and the real life, and no one comes to the Father but through me. Some translations say it this way. Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life, and no one comes to the Father but through me. You see, Jesus wanted to reassure them that he had a purpose, that he had a plan. In fact, he was telling them, I'm going to prepare a place to be with my father and a place where you too can be with my father as you are invited to be there. And Thomas is like, and I'm sure some of the other disciples were kind of like, wait a minute, where are you going? How do we get there? What, what's the address? When do we go? We don't know how to get there. And Jesus says, oh yes you do. You know how to get there because you know me. And because you know me, you can be in my Father's house because I am the only way to get to the Father. You know what I find very interesting about this and how Jesus said this to not only the disciples, but how he's saying it to us? is he didn't say, here is the way, the truth, and the light. Go and do these five things, and you'll be able to get to be with my Father. No, he says, I am the way. He didn't give us a textbook of one, two, three, four, or do this, and then you can get this, and then once you get this, then you can go do this, and if you add this plus this, you can equal. No, he didn't give us a textbook or a how-to book. He gave us himself. He gave us the ability to know Him and knowing Christ and accepting Him and understanding that He is God and He is Savior, that through Him, we have the opportunity to be with the Father. With what we have read in these stories and what Jesus has said in His own words, we know for certain that Jesus is truth. Thank you for letting me share time with you this week. Daniel's going to be back with us tomorrow as we finish out this week's idea and this week's point that Jesus is truth.
Thank you so much. Have a great day.